let's solve this question this is a nice question i found this in a university so this is saying that let a be the set of all graph be the set of all simple graph on n vertices so remember in this a you have graphs in this you have all the simple graphs in this you have all the simple graphs okay now for example all the simple graphs you have for example your k3 your k4 your w3 your c3 okay like this you have all the graphs you have all the graphs we have for example q4 sorry q2 and so on so all the graphs you have now what is, what this is saying we are defining a relation on a so we are defining a relation on a what it means relation on a what it means it means we are relating the elements of a to elements of a it means graphs are related to each other graphs are related to each other and we are saying that two graphs are related to each other basically this is the definition of isomorphism can you notice two graphs are related to each other two graphs are related to each other if you notice if you notice please notice this this is the definition of isomorphism there exists a bijection between the vertices such that uv is an a if and only if f u f v is an a in g dash this is the definition of isomorphism so we define a relation r on a such that such such that this g1 is related to g2 if and only if g1 comma g2 are isomorphic because this is the definition of isomorphism now the question is asking can i say true or false this equivalence relation this r is equivalence relation did you understand the question the set is a set of simple graph so you have a set in this set you have graph g1 g2 all the simple graphs you have in this set now we are defining a relation r on this set it means it means that we the gra these graphs are related to each other these graphs they are related to each other g1 is related to g2 if and only if g1 and g2 are isomorphic because this is the definition of isomorphism if you notice this is the definition so finally now tell me graph isomorphism can i say this graph isomorphism if you notice this is reflexive can i say this is reflexive yes this is reflexive because every graph is isomorphic to itself every graph is isomorphic to itself can i say this is symmetric yes this is symmetric if g is isomorphic to h then h is isomorphic to g and can i say this is transitive can i say this is transitive yes if g is isomorphic to h h is isomorphic to uh, h is isomorphic to p then i can say that g is isomorphic to p so this graph isomorphism is a equivalence relation this is a equivalence relation so in this question you can notice the definition of graph isomorphism is given this is a standard university question i think this is from washington university this is a question from washington university and you can notice in the gate exam they can ask you this type of questions because in the gate exam they will not mention the word isomorphism this word isomorphism they will not mention they will directly give you the definition of isomorphism the definition of isomorphism they will give you directly so that is the reason the definition is important to understand but we will not apply the definition in our questions in our questions we will only apply the methods that we have seen basically if i give you two graph what you have to do you have to see only small, small graph will be given to you remember in the gate exam they will not give you big graph they will not give you only small graph they will give you because the graph isomorphism is not a easy task so that is the reason only small graph will be given and when small graph are given to you then you can check these things number of vertices number of edges degree sequence okay like all these things number of three length cycle number of four length cycle these things you can check if any of them mismatch if any of them mismatch then the graph are not isomorphic if all of them match then please tell me if all of them match then then actually we cannot say anything but the graph that will be given to you that will be small graph remember so when a small graph is given to you you can check you can check like by twisting maybe you can twist okay sometimes you can twist and sometimes you can check whether this is k4 k5 w3 
W4, what is this? So basically like that you can check, okay? So this was your uh, graph isomorphism. I hope this topic is clear. Uh -huh.